I'm so sorry about not properly introducing ourselves. My name is Lawrence. And my name is Deborah. Nice to meet you, Lawrence and Deborah. My name is Dustin. And this is my wife, Janice. Hello. And this is my daughter, Madison. Hey there. Madison, was it? Your name sounds beautiful. Um, thanks, I guess. Wait, did I just say that out loud? Yes. You have a crush? You have a crush? Ha <laughs> ha Shut up, Deborah. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to talk to you about the apocalypse. We've seen it grow. A couple of days ago, there were almost no vampires on the streets. Right now, it's unsafe to be outside. Oh god. I knew I shouldn't have put off doing groceries. We have nothing in the fridge. We can't just sit here and starve. I'm going to get the groceries. But it's not safe outside. Food is key to survival. I'm going to tag along with Dustin. Can I come along? Not a chance. Things are really dangerous right now. <laughs> you never let me do anything. What's the point of being in the resistance if I'm not resisting? Listen, I really don't feel like arguing right now. Dustin, I'm ready to go with you. Wow, this place is so creepy. None of the workers are here. You know what that means. Free food. Yeah. When you put it like that, I think I will do some grocery shopping too. Absolutely. Excuse me while I look for some bubble gum for my sister. She's obsessed with it. I wonder if that's cereal. Darn it. I can't reach. Do you need help, sir? Well, yeah. Wow, you are a devoted employee. There is an apocalypse going on, and you are still working. Your boss should give you a raise. Yes, yes. Of course. Now allow me to assist you. Ah, there it is. Bubble gum. Deborah will be so happy that I brought her some gum. You are going to pay for that, right? Oh my gosh, you scared me. To death, I hope. Not today. Not now. Not ever. You know, I really appreciate your help with getting my groceries. Is there any way I can repay you? A bite. Well, okay. A bite of what? A bite of you. Lawrence, why did you kill her? What do you mean why did I kill her? She was a vampire for God's sake. She was. I didn't know. She was freakishly pale, with black hair, and she asked you for a bite. It seriously didn't occur to you that she was a vampire. Oh well. Anyways, it's time to go back home. Hey, guess what I brought you from the store? What? Open your hand. Come on, open it. You brought me bubblegum. My favorite. And I've been thinking about what you said earlier about being in the resistance and not resisting. So starting tomorrow morning, I will be teaching you how to use a gun. Oh my gosh, yes. You are the best brother ever. Thanks honey for bringing home the groceries. No problem.
Uh, Lawrence. Do you even know how to knock? Oops. So sorry about that, Madison. I just came in because, um, I'm wondering, can we sleep together? Why? There is no need to share a bed. Besides, there's a guest room and a sofa bed in the living room. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess I'll just go to the sofa bed. Sorry for wasting your time. So, are you in Madison Larson? That's your ship name. I came up with it. Sorry, Debs, but it looks like Larson isn't happening. What? Why? I asked if I could sleep with her, but she said there was a sofa bed out here. Are you out of your mind? Sleeping together is a no-no when you try to start a relationship. But hey, I can't blame you for taking that step. I mean, you only had one girlfriend in your life. You don't have that much dating experience. Are you trying to make me feel better? Because you aren't doing a great job. You didn't let me finish. You don't have that much dating experience, but I do. I will be able to help you get Madison to be your girlfriend. Well, okay. I guess it wouldn't hurt if you help me. Alright, so first things first, you need to feel confident around Madison. Girls dig confidence. You need to tell her that you like her. Don't hesitate. The reason things haven't been working out between you two is because Madison has no clue that you like her. Wow. That's actually really sound advice. Thanks, Deborah. I don't know what I would do without a sister like you. Ah, she bit me. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no.